Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. The process of making a shape look like chrome is the same for most. However, since each font has different sizes and unique characteristics, you may find the settings and numbers assigned to the adjustment layers in this tutorial may need to be changed in order to get the results you want. The size of the document I'm working on is 800 by 800 pixels with a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. So we'll press on the Type tool and click on the Type dialog box to choose a font and its size. I'm using a very ornate font called Kaiser Zeit Gottisch, which can be downloaded for free at defonts.com. The size will be 199 points. Click on the center of your document and type something in. I'm typing in the letter T. Go to the box where your foreground color is and click it. The adjustment layers we're going to use for the chrome effect works best with medium gray, so click on the brightness button and type in 70%. The first step is to give it a bevel, so go to the layers panel and click on the effects button and go to bevel and emboss. The layer style window will open. You want to pick inner bevel, smooth, the depth is 600, and the size is 40 pixels. These numbers make the highlights and shadows meet in the middle. We're also going to add 5 pixels to soften it up. Click on the New Layer button and then click on the New Layer. Press and hold Shift while you click on the text layer below it and then press Ctrl E or Command E on a Mac to merge the two layers together. Go to Image, Adjustments and Curves. The key to making our shape look more like chrome is to apply a set of modified double bell curves. Each set of curves should look like a hill, a valley, and then another hill. The input and output numbers don't have to be exact. We're going to apply the second set of our curves. Press Ctrl M or Command M on a Mac to call up our curves window. This second set of curves will make our metal look more like chrome. As before, make another modified double bell curve. This second set of curves doesn't have to match the first set exactly, as long as the final shape looks like a hill, a valley, and a hill. Now that we have our chrome base established, let's start adding some nuance. We'll give our letter a subtle bright edge by clicking on the Effects button and choosing Inner Glow. For the blend mode, it'll be screen and the opacity is 75%. We'll choose softer for the edge. For choke, we'll type in 10% and for the size, we'll type in 7 pixels. Next, we're going to give our letter shape an inner gradient. To do this, we'll call up the letter selection by pressing Ctrl or Command while clicking on its layer. Go to Select, Modify, and contract. We'll contract it by 3 pixels. Keep in mind your contraction may be different pending the size and shape of your text. We're going to feather it so go to select, modify, and feather. We'll feather it by 2 pixels. To see what our selection looks like press the letter Q. The gradient we're going to add to our letter will be confined to this slightly contracted soft shape. Press the letter Q again to see our selection. To get our gradient, go to the Layers panel and click on the Adjustment Layer button. Choose Gradient. The Gradient Fill window will come up. Click on the Gradient. That will make the Gradient Editor appear and click on the Black to White box. Click on the lower white box and move it to the middle. Then click on the left box and move your mouse or pen to the lower right and click down. Now our letter T has black on its top and bottom while gradiating to white in its middle. We'll change the mode of this gradient from normal to multiply and we'll reduce the opacity to 50%. Notice how our soft contracted selection can find the gradient inside a bit so our chrome letter keeps its bright edges. We're going to make a copy of our letter shape, so control click or command click on a Mac to call up its selection. And then press control J or command J on a Mac to make a copy of it. We're not going to use the inner glow for the top layer, so grab it and bring it to the trash. 
but we are going to replace it with another effect so click on the effects button and choose bevel and emboss we're going to create an outer bevel so click on outer bevel with a size of 7 pixels and check contour make sure smooth is showing go to gloss contour and choose the double bell curve this gives us that nice shiny chrome look we're going to give our chrome letter a drop shadow so press the FX button and choose drop shadow the blend mode will be multiply we'll slide the distance to about 14 pixels and the size to about 13 or 14 pixels we'll slide the opacity down to 50 percent here is our final gleaming chrome letter by using the techniques in this tutorial you can make any text or shape into chrome remember that the numbers we assign to the adjustment layers and effects may have to change depending on your text or shape size and characteristics this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV thanks for watching